growth of that and that that hasn't lasted. But as somebody who plays modern myself, I still think that it's legit. Uh, so we'll see how he makes it work. Great start for him. Kind of Sonic Boom. That's something you could expect with Chun-Li. I think she does a very good job against anybody who has a projectile and also kind of wants to play that space in the game. I think her normal and her walk speed is what's helped her, what helps her excel in these types of matches. But it's not to say, like, she has a, a significant advantage over the set character. No, yeah. But I highly agree that she is one of the best in the game. She's really good. Ooh! You really wanted to confirm on that. Yeah, it's tough too when you end it with like a four to back. Oh, 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 yeah. I mean, I look, I understand him getting hit there because blocking was almost as deadly as getting hit in that situation because you know that you're about to get crushed. God, I love that dude. Let's stay oh, there and hold it. it. Dude, just kind of doing whatever he wants to in this situation. Here it is. Into the corner. That was a counter hit. Oh, actually one hit away on both sides. Level two is here for Ramos. And if he gets through the fireball with that. Oh, this is huge. Oh, man, I'm worried. That's, we're talking about modern Chun, but it doesn't matter. Of course, Chun's level two, one of the best at blowing through stuff. I was trying to take a look at the drive gauge to see if the precision was going to be from Ramos. He ends up just hitting the rest of the for the solid punch activation. Knuckle Dew, I feel like <laughs> getting the better hand is luck towards the end of the round, but now two back-to-back -back openers. Yo, Ramos must have pressed the button in between because that wasn't a true combo. He's saving his drive gauge. Ramos is kind of hanging out a little bit patient here. That's what he did. Oh, the, the roundhouse. Activity. He's woken up so far with that and also with crouching medium kick, so he's active there. Burns Ramos out. Nobody expects the roundhouse on the No, no, no. But I do like this throw from Ramos picking and choosing the spots on defense. And if he can make Knuckle do just block a few things before Super comes uh, at this point. Again, he is one hit away. Again, it's doable. But that's a counter hit! Got you it. don't even have to spend all of it! Yeah, you get to hold on to your CA. This is actually a huge upswing for Ramos, being at three bars and compared to Knuckle 2. One bad Sonic Boom could lead to so much damage. But Ramos. Being put on the defense and hit. Hey, oh, that's the all level three right exactly there. So good. Interesting. We'll take that. The damage on the drive gauge, the damage to the bar. You could cause that burnout. He would love to. But Dew's defense is still too good. Yeah, Dew's away. Probably safe against getting burned at this point. Hold on. Ramos has let him wake up. Oh, he catches the back dash, but it's not plus enough. Oh, big opportunity. He needs a little more. No, the last no. thing is actually the last That's thing. That's crazy. I, I thought we'd be on pixels, pixels, man. Yeah. Wow. What's wow. the the bad damage? Yeah. Then we had in the past, it's going to be Guile again. Okay. okay. When SF6 was newer, he was playing her more. But when I've seen him play online, just constantly playing in online tournaments, it's almost always Guile. Again, how many times has Ramos read the deal around that Sonic Boom? It's not an easy thing to react to it. Again, Modern might be yeah. the reason exactly why, but yeah, I mean, as that, consistent and as it is, it's still you have to time it correct. You just gotta think of Modern as being a different groove, a different ism. It's just got slightly sure. different base. One of them is on reactions. Hey. Slow pace, and I like this from Knuckle Dew. With this type of approach, you've had Ramos kind of like trying to really think about the Sonic Boom just like that as well. So oh, space is not going to be able perfect. to catch in time. And interesting that he is up the game because I feel like his pressure has been quite... Do it again. <laughs> that would have yeah. been, been very interesting if he actually went for a third game. All right, well, let's see what Dew has here. And keeping it up in games. Perfect yet again. Trying to fake a little bit. He's hoping to goad Ramos into something ill-advised. Ooh, and what a punish kind of result. The full swing, crouch jab into the fierce. I love those tactical Bunch of perfects. Oh, here it is. The medium hit again, as you said. It is strong. Man, I feel like that was one of the first times he actually did a medium. I felt like it was slightly delayed. Maybe he was trying Maybe to it was delayed even. Yeah, was. yeah. Okay, two gets the burn. Ramos is on the other side. He still has level two and three. He can still be dangerous. Here it is. There it is. Yeah, you just called this. Now, is that modern damage though? That is the question. I think that's real. He, he really did the motion, I think. Block is there. Oh my god. That's you. Another chance. We're at match another. point. Imagine if top eight winners does not include Punk or Item or Knuckle Dew, we're one round away. This is 
over. Another handshake of destiny. Ramos get in the corner. Parry forward throw as well. Can be getting the stream going, but Crouching Heavy Punch to keep up with the honest. Speaking of, yeah, there is the drive over, so has to get off of He has not been able to breathe in this corner just yet. Hopefully he lets the boom do the talking. Again, the punish counter off of the crouching jab into the fierce. Smooth like that. There, Ramos's drive gauge. Okay, it is gone. It's gonna have level two and still be dangerous. Duke cannot comfortably throw a boom if there's charge, and there is charge now. Even so, I mean, with modern, you're still able to. Yeah, it's a button. You still have to but it is just no, a button on reaction. No hey. Way. There you go. Enough to do with the appropriate conversion as well. I was thinking to myself, like, there's no way Ramos is gonna do it here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened earlier. <laughs> Something did. Yeah. Huh? Chun Li versus Guile again. New challenger. Again. Another. That was just a counter hit. Double dude just got hit. Right? Maybe try to press a button to contest it. Right. I mean, obviously he did. It was a counter. Right, 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 Excuse right. me. Oof. Smoggin. How many heavies? Ten health. A little more active. Promise again. Close to being burned. A little bit problematic too. He's gonna take the beam, doesn't even want to try to perfect oh, parry. He's been taking to the skies a lot against these beams, but from this distance, it gives Knuckle Dude a lot of time to both recover and react appropriately with the anti-air. Ooh. He's putting up such a wall. Ready there. Ramos. Still alive. If you can get two mix-ups here, he can take it. Ooh. One. Oh, wake up, button! It is yeah. enough for Dude, who's at match point now. And it's so awkward too, off of that back though, you're not necessarily gonna guarantee yourself an like, uh, easier medium to a jab, right? You'd have to commit to like maybe like a back or something. Like or even like a low forward in that range, back over there. there. Is this yeah, Sorry, absolutely. I was, thinking, I, was, I was thinking about it. Not gonna set up for the blade just yet, and it's a lot of the boom talking, right? He's trying to force that error from Ramos, again, from certain distances. You're not gonna have a good time with these Hazan shoes. Dangerous now. For almost to get hit. If it's the right one, Duke can already kill, but even if it's not, it's gonna be a tough look. No way! Almost. Nice pick up! What a conversion! The throne. And then it's the last thing up with these worries. The Roundhouse activation is a solid punch. So he can accomplish his goal of burnout. He does so, but Ramos isn't gonna take too much damage off of it unless oh. the mix comes. Maybe like a dry rush overhead. Oh no anti air. Do, do you understand? Yes, do you understand that completely? That Ramos was frozen. You could see that. He took advantage of it. Now he's on the other side of the screen. Safe. Other side of the beach. You can still take this away from Knuckle Dude. I mean, again, he still has level 2 and 3. He's got C8 even. And no it's way. not gonna happen. Dude comes back from the brink of going to losers, and he will be in top 8 winner's side tomorrow. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Luke! It's actually Luke. It is Luke. It is Luke, yeah. Some, somebody in the, the ministry was just giving me a DM. <laughs> I should have kept my mouth shut. But you set me up. I did. <laughs> Either way, both these characters very much so in the conversation of the top three spots. But as it stands right now, Banana Ken does have the upper hand, at least with the corner positioning. The spike here, Space Boy, so reluctant to move on forward. It's like surgical spot for the farthest region of the jump cane. Love that positioning. Jump hey. medium punch is a tool. That is for sure. That is. It's like the, the best version that like a normal like that has ever been in Street Fighter. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's for sure. That exchange, I think that's much better. Oh, oh I think it's one thing I'm always impressed by with Bananakin though is that when he's burned out, he still has awesome reactions with uh, the name and the move that I'm forgetting. Yes. Like with amnesia. Departure. <laughs> <laughs> You got amnesia? No, JP. I was trying amnesia. to set you up. It didn't work very well, but uh, here's Space Boy with round number one. No, I was paying attention to Space Boy. <laughs> Couldn't help it, David. <laughs> Do that in between the rounds, not like actually during, because I'm not awake all the way. I'm not going to lie to you. That was actually super imperative. But hey, it worked out pretty well for Space Boy despite dropping that perfect knuckle setup. Ooh, just in series. Oh, what a call by Banana Can. They're still in time, yes sir, sets up the departure, yes, and the pickup is there, sets up the departure again, the drive impact, why not, and the pickup, level 3, he's put him into the loop, what a block, but not enough, and again, we'll take the round, very expensive round at that, but albeit, you're looking at the bar below from Spaceboy, I mean, how much we have left, 
if Banana Ken just went for another defensive setup, he could have died. <laughs> he actually could have died from one dodge. Getting a little bit of distance at the beginning here is Banana Ken. Navigating it well though, space boy. You gotta walk in and out sometimes to get away from that. Not all about always moving forward. A little bit of a delay through the stagger. You see a banana can intentionally whipping his normal to catch. Or at least, no, not whipping. He was trying to catch the counter coming from the space play. As we usually have been seeing with some of the drive rush approaches now. Oh, oh boy, that's hella damage, by the way. Yeah, that's top luck. No, he's not. <laughs> you, set him, you set him to the hospital. Yeah, come on, man. What are you talking about? Oh, oh what a call! Yeah, but there, but Rich still the activity from the Manic and Space right, What do you got? What do you got? Here's the burn. There'd be a lot of chip damage for sure. Oh, up until that point, Space Boy. Oh, he has the option of standing medium punch. It pushes Luke so far forward. Uppercut, oh, get off of it. Excellent reaction. The well, Dread Gauge is back with Space Boys is very soon, too. There it is. Anakin harassing a little bit from oh. range, but Space Boy's got such a light through that that's just not going to be very threatening at the moment. And it's so scary, too, that even let some of these departures open. Defense. If Space Boy decides to maybe go in with a drive rush, it could be a problem. He certainly is punch. threatening that. Like, he's walking up into a range where that is a threat, and then not taking the Ooh. big bet on the other was. Well, that's fine! Oh, and the burnout there? Yeah, we're going to see. Oh, no okay. way! Level 2 is active! Level 2 is. Dude, what was that? And then Burnout is there. No way. It's an hit. It did. It did. Is that he enough? No. He That's gets hit. Yes. Wow. The decision to run up tax with still time on the clock. I totally understand. Like maybe you want to do like your turn afterwards because he's in Burnout. Yeah. But that, that departure shadow was still lingering, man. The shadow was creeping. Pay the price. Overhead oh. there. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, kind of a late timing. And again, back to control. Setting it up. It's about to come out. There it is. Uppercut. Oh, I thought he was going to make it in time to punish counter instead. Banana can. Looking for the burnout. That fight spends a level one. Perfect. Now he has a departure right in front of him. He has so much estate to kind of back up and still get that chip damage from the shadow. Oh! What in the world? Bad read on where Luke was going to be. Ah, you see the movement. You see the defensive capabilities of Banana Ken. He's going to jump again. Yep, he delayed it this time. Space Boy finding him off with the touch medium. Amnesia is going to be more than enough. Level 1. Boom. Bang. Yeah, again, his regular Amnesia usage is just great. Like, he uses that better in Burnout as JT than all everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'm waiting for the really grimy stuff. Right now. This guy has gotten away with so many command grabs on Street Fighter. <laughs> I'm wondering when that type of play is going to be coming out. But against this play, it's so difficult to call it like that. Uh, uh. Corner carry pretty important on that. Oh. Uppercut. Not right away, surely. Make him pay the fee. The fee. Yeah, the little tax to get out. Uh, uh. Yeah, the set up. Ooh, into the That's corner. That's so smart. Again. Okay, the tax. To anything again. It's a great defense, honestly, by Space Boy. Okay, came to the rescue. Uh, Rob, so we go in. Space level two play. is gonna come out. He does have dry parry attack, and you know, Banana can tease the idea what? of the throw. The defense was ridiculous out of this world. Space Boy still can make it work, by the way. He does have critical art on deck. Yeah, if he finds any hit. <gasps> away. No way! Did he get got? Okay. You, what? Let's go, Banana. What do you got? No what do you got? way, you got dude. You got winners. Top eight. Banana can you dog? That was actually sick. What a neutral and also defensive options. And she doesn't really have defense quite as good as others. Doesn't have the EX invincibility. Has a slow level one. So she kind of has to get by on the rest of the game. But the rest of the game is really good. She is an offense. And it's not like something that's, that's new to like, the like, Oh, like, this is huge. Starting out well meterlessly. Again, Psycho slowly navigating his way to the corner. Here's not. What a response. OD Fireball to get the drive rush out of the way, not having to 
Fear any of the repercussions. Nope. The over has nothing. That is such a sharp angled anti air. I think that's one of the better tools she has if she has to play defense. If very, she has time very strong to. Hey. Uh, uh oh. Mm, I don't know if that was like an overlap of inputs or not. Perhaps. And back to Psycho just hanging out. One thing about the way that. Oh my god. What? That didn't clip? Yeah. That's a lot of damage. Level one? Yeah, that's gonna be more than enough damage. Nice work. Really good is the way to kill. That was cool. And it takes away one can. Ouch. Like, it's, and the damage to, to seal the round is cool, but what a good can. I hear ya, I hear ya. He needs more for the genius at play. Very cool, okay. kind of nasty. Ooh, oh, that could've been huge. I did like the attempt at the conversion, though. I think it was a little bit too far if he's eight. Lindsay yeah. Jury. Coming on in. I love this costume. That's so good, yeah. That is a bait into whatever or not you want. Good damage. Still in there for pressure. I was gonna say, I don't think she's really had to utilize the Feng Shui up until this point. Mm, mm. Make it hurt. Doesn't have enough to build a level one, but that's totally fine. Psycho, alright. Now the question is, how much work can he do? Here's maybe the beginning. No, Naji's away. Even is an option for Naji. A lot. Now there's a counter. It wasn't okay, two hits. Huge. Two hits and it's doable. Oh, you're gonna build yourself a level three at this point as well. Just like, oh, this is huge. Oh boy. Oh. He saves it. He's gonna go for the kill on the next hit. That's the idea. Did he find something? No. no. And that's a very, very expensive loss. Yo, Naji. Taking it with the back throw as well. This could be the huge turnaround. But, you know, having normalized damage and also a slight speed buff could be what helps cycle itself. That's true. Well, that was hella beat. Yeah, I feel like there was something intended there. But it doesn't happen, so Naji capitalizing. Dang. <laughs> it's the way that the hoodies flow out. What, what is that? Is that like a certain character? I'll, I'll ask that later. Anyways, Naji sitting on a pretty significant life stage, just waiting for the drive rest to come back at the drive gauge, excuse me, saying, initiate this offense. It's going to be a lot now for Psycho to deal with. Put yourself in the corner, and that was a counter hit. That was a delayed medium punch. Ugh, and Psycho got ripped with that instead. I mean, it's it's understandable. Like, when you see your opponent, like, put themselves on the other side, obviously that's towards the wall. You might think to yourself, they might try to back them. Oh, it came that time. Whip. Wow. Punish with a button, but not into anything else. How about cycle again? Okay, read by Naji. Willing to make those defensive risky choices. It's so tough to contest against a low medium from Jerry. I'm thinking about like what can Kimberly do to really whiff punish somebody? Like maybe your stand medium pick would be good uh, long enough. Yeah, it's not really the style, right? Like the, she she has some great options again, but it's not really like whiff punish style. That's some stuff. Not up there with somebody like Jerry though, and here comes Naji as he's in match point. I feel like that's just been, been the stopper, I feel like, for for uh, cycle majority of that round. Naji was playing it pretty steady with the normals presented. Great defense by Naji. Getting out of there. Again, taking the risk, and again, he pays off. Man, and he let the kicks fly out of there. He did have it backed up with an enhanced fireball, so it's understandable, but still. Cycle running into that and running into this as well. The buffer fierce into the Feng Shui engine. Knock him up. It's an easy safe jump. Oh, he actually Ooh. misses. Who's that? It was a fake out. I'm way too early to catch anything. Okay, Psycho is alive still. Level three will come out. I'm not gonna kill though, but this is very He's got to have that buff. Yeah. He's got to start the party. Anything to do it. Dash, yeah, forward. dash forward on wake up, Naji. Was it like a, you know, just get it over? Here. I don't even know. Was what? it like maybe intended as perfect carry into drive rush and it just like was a little bit early on pressing the carry button? I don't know. I'm trying to think about what that might have been. In any case, match point still for him. But even so, like the idea of dashing any type of dash forward. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, beautiful. Air to air. Naji looking good. Is it enough? This guy, yeah, more than enough. What a pickup and a half. Naji 2 0 Psycho in a uh, pretty extravagant fashion towards the end. That was a really good call out. 
against any of the jump outs too. Like normally we- A lot of focus to making adaptations, respecting my opponent's abilities and habits, and trusting myself. Paladin says, I studied this game, period. A lot, period. <laughs> he really does. Uh, there's a lot of really neat things that he's discovered as Ryu. But man, this actual, I've never, I haven't seen the classic costume default color one ever. Man, it looks nice. It looks really sharp. Alex is going to be the first one to get the corner. Harassing a little bit. Man, laying it down after the lights too. Normally you would think it's turn, but I love the way he staggered it. But look at this, the bust out, the Paladin forward throw. I'm not going to go for the Jarvis again. It's the Man, thing. we got the Alpha throwback. How often do you get to see that used as a poke? A little hoppy kick. There it is. Damn, and the confirm. Hey, oh my what a God. wait. He really waited a funky amount of time. Right? I understand why Alex tried to press the button, but it was denied. To be fair, that was a very easy set of fears. Yeah. Well, he's got some juice. I think he's a little underrated. Uh, here Ooh, it is. That's Reaction. Huge. Bang. I'll take that back. Back off for the side switch. Mmm. Paladin continues to be ready. Burns Alex out. Good decision making for Paladin. That was an OD version of that to ensure the chip. Uh oh. Is that close enough? Oh, well, maybe not. Alex is trying to walk out of there again, trying to counter hit. No, sir. The punish counter is there. Alex, can he get a significant opening to get himself that round? He does have level 3 attack. Oh, there was the attempt for crossing heavy punch again. We talked about that for the last jury player. Level 3 incoming Paladin. So much damage. Ugh, getting game number one. That's bad, unfortunate, right? Like Alex Smith with jury, not committing to the uppercut. A true invincible anti air, right? That crouching heavy punch was everything for Paladin. And it's a, it's, it's a pretty common occurrence, actually. You get some of these Shotos doing some of these jump heavy punches. <clears throat> There's a lot of interactions where it's like if you press it early enough, it just outright scuffs the anti-air. Oh, yeah. Great button. Nice. Again, I, I think the Ryu's definitely got some juice. Chases it. Okay, that was timing so on that. Yeah. I really like his timings in, in frame track so far. This is cool. This is the first little forward we've seen. It's a very common button from a Shogu, but man, I only see it once thus far. That was actually a weird. A Shogu, Alex Smith, is able to get the big conversion off of that. Again, now chasing Paladin down, as you should. A lot of burnout, forward throw. Mm. Paladin was pumping on Super right there. You could see Alex, I think, saw it and packs off a little bit. Oh, nice work. And that anti-air, man, after having lost that previous game due to only trying a non-involved anti-air, this dude has really shaped up in that round. It's a big anti-air. And that is a heavy starter. Quite literally, Paladin with a standing heavy punch. And then just running right into it. And parry. It's the meter you're after. Oh. Mm, and you get the start. Cute. With the charger. Could have had a little charge. more. No way. I like that. Keep it simple. Level three. Gotta build back your gauge. The damage is pretty significant. Not gonna it's be a significant life lead. It is a lot of damage for sure. But it also is a risk. If Paladin gets a knockdown right away in the corner. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, uh -oh. Look at the damage incoming too. Yeah. I don't think you have to spend it. Drive it forward. Fist of mine. Boom. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem of being burned out and spending all your super. It's potentially great. High upside. But there is a risk to that as well. Press that button. This guy Ryu is hounding for damage. That's the extension. Charge up as well. Well, DP came. Back to neutral. Or I have really liked Paladin's forward movement. Again, he's used the fireball as a shield nicely to move on. This time he's ready. Oh! It's such an interesting switch off between like Paladin going for the fireball, going for like different special moves. It's hard to keep track of what he wants to do in neutral. I agree. Can Alex there? Oh, she, boy. and then you get stuff like that from the drive impact. Not random, but it was actually a very, very fortunate circumstance that Alex actually tried to go oh, for. Got him! Oh my god. As Paladin hunted for the crouching medium kick, and with that, he punches his ticket. Two. Oh into winner's side top eight 16 years old what is this about teenage ryu players doing well in the cpt not the first one and just sick i like the, the that's the usual and as far, far as adrian and why his prep is just playing in weekly tournaments as you mentioned that's what he does he also says looking rough because of the matchup but he might play loose so we'll see if this doesn't go well see if maybe he switches 
side to see a little bit of the pattern from pressure from Flux Wave. Not too shy about letting that rock off the rip. A little bit of a funky occurrence too, Adrian. What are you going to do with these balloons? you got to make it count, but it's Flux Wave. He's not going to be deterred, right? He's going to be spending the OD to kind of reset that momentum against the Fireball Buffer. That is huge, actually, a big trade off number one. And flux Waves. Oh, too far for the break. Not punished. And Adrian gets to be a little patient. He's got a slight life lead. He's got a big drive gauge lead. He doesn't really need to do a lot. That's such a... Man, that's such a deceptive tool. Ooh. Okay. Slight miss okay. on that. This has been such a very... Oh, okay, I was waiting for the big risk. And Adrian having the appropriate response. OD flash kick. I wonder if he could have maintained his charges still anti-air. I wonder that as well. Now the burn. Feel it. Oh, trying to get over crouching medium kick is a cute idea with that upside down kick. I think it's worth it. It's is that your range? It range. is. Yeah, okay. Down. Good response. And he's about to get his drive gauge back. Up oh. until this point. Man, flux at the. Adrian slipping. And that was a moment where Adrian could have just held back. Right? I think there was a moment where he's like, you know, I get a drive gauge back at least in this moment. I could possibly get chipped out. No longer a question. I'd love to see some more offense here. He is mounting and he's trying. He's trying to get the corner. Pushing slowly. Jump medium to the rescue as Fuxil gets to move forward out of the corner. I think it's a funky scenario. Like, even if you do maintain your charge, like, is it far enough to actually work uh, with a flash kick? That Fuxil. trade, I think, is fine on a lot of the times, but not right now for Fluxkill. It just has way less life. Sure. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he wanted something as an anti-air and nothing came. Adrian hasn't really been showing off his car to charge. Like, he's just been moving back and forth a bunch. Trying to close the gap against Flux Waves, not following along with the fireball just yet. This level 2 is everything oh, because you gotta, he just you put him in burnout. Probably. Yeah, yeah. No, that's no. not gonna cut it. Nope. I'm on. Was that drive reversal? Like, was driver that, reversal? What is exactly what put him into burnout? It's so interesting that you see like the mechanics drain the meter first before you actually see the action. I actually was you know, uh, thinking about it. I thought the block had put him into to burnout. I was like, what? I didn't even see that. Drive <laughs> but, reversal, yeah. Is that like a... Now, like, now I'm thinking to myself, it's like, that could be a really sneaky way to throw in that drive reversal. It's like, did he actually put me... Did the opponent actually put me into burnout and I could actually pursue my offense further? I suppose, yeah. Right? Okay the very end so i do like the idea that actually tricked the hell out of me i thought genuinely that flux waves was the one that put adrian into burnout so if i was thinking like as flux waves like all right well i'm gonna just press a button and go on right. the chip I, sequence yeah that makes sense and yeah. then the driver versus okay. it was like what Pretty so cool. all right you know game one didn't go well as we mentioned he said that he might lose use luke his quote is might use luke idk so <laughs> i don't know maybe that's where we're at right now it's not gonna be the case <laughs> It's gonna be Guile. Is this a bartender outfit? Is that one? Like he's a, he's got a. This Guile? He's got like a side, uh, a side gig as a bartender. I can see that. Maybe he owns his own bar. That's what I heard. Anyway, I don't know if that's actually real. The door with a couple of lights and the spacing trap with the fierce as well. Not gonna really come out of anything. Adrian hasn't really focused after that sequence. If you take in uh, Gander, Ooh. that's you. Yeah, this is exactly where Flux Wave wants to be. Now, comfortable spot. Don't go to try to move forward. Just uncomfortable to throw booms there, of course, because Spike can come from under your feet, so it's not easy to play a normal game. And he's going to be right back into that same situation again. Off the piercing. The grid that drive games that exchange is just fine for Flux Wave. Up until this point, Adrian doing the most with the Sonic Booms now, but it's still at this deficit. He still has to be the one to move forward. We're all too fear of the burnout. Yeah, which is where he is now. He doesn't perfect carry. Ooh. Yeah. It's an error. That's all she wrote. Yo, Flux Waves looking at that match point. Adrian, again, just has not been able to really establish himself on offense and has been playing in the web of Flux Waves majority of the time. Yeah, if he could find some strong offense, maybe things could be different. But as you said, that just has not come. To be fair, I think Flux Waves has done a fantastic job of getting himself into a set play Momentum, or mentality, I should say. He's got the departure set up pretty well. He does have some of the ghosts catching Adrian. And also just him navigating oh. around booms. But to be fair, I think Adrian has not been able to throw as many booms just yet because of those trades that have been happening from this fight. Right, yeah, it's tough to throw booms in this match. Big interruption. It could have led to so much more. Yeah, right? It, right, and before that, he had to drop combos. Well, we did actually manage to find the flash kick anyway. 
a couple of issues for him. But, oh, here's a big opportunity. If he finds the hit, he can already kill. No! Oh, no! That's too many! No! Oh, man. You got to feel for him on that. CA is on the other side. That's not... That is gonna kill, actually. I, I, dude, it's gonna be on. It's gonna be close. That's CA. It is CA. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's enough. Oh my god. That's this close thing. That's actually kind of unfortunate. I mean, you gotta feel for Adrian, right? Uh, when it comes to Samij, how did you prep? Uh, I started playing again two weeks ago. Pretty good. When it comes to Kami, how did you prep? Watch anime and play rank. That's true, yeah. I, I, I can definitely attest to that. I think Kami's, uh, he, he makes uh, make sure he's updated with all of his anime. He's uh, playing a lot on stream. <laughs> Wherever he's at, this man be traveling. Mm, what a little back carry. off, yeah. Good timing. Kami escapes. Yeah, that's going to be pretty huge, right? Kami still maintaining his drive gauge against a burnt out Samuge. Ooh. A little problematic, and you know, you, you throw that out there to see whether or not they're gonna try to counter poke against it. You get that. Okay, I was there, driver's forward, forward throw now. Getting closer to that corner. What was that? I think Smith might have been trying to jump out of the corner, perhaps. And now it's Kami who backs off a little bit. Totally understandable. At least within uh, the timing of him getting some drive gauge back to maybe cancel forward. Oh, again, looking for the same idea. Some to move forward. I mean, it's playing really, really well right now. What a wall. Oh! You okay? I just. Did you dig it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, not gonna the point is counter. Oh, that could have been so much more, but it's yeah. still gonna be enough. He gets the drive rush forward again. Samiz with a very clutch activation and also the very clutch opening of Tommy to seal the rest of that. Interesting back and forth around. They both had to do it to the point they had control in. You can tell how confident Kami feels about his facing. He's just in and out of it. the exact same range constantly. A lot more active with the fireballs this time around as well. Giving Samich something to think about outside of just the normals, right? Instead of like uh, watching him coming with the fireball. Not going to spend the level 3 here, and I do like that. We're checking the movement. See Samich, what his tendencies are on defense. Good job of mixing it up defensively, at least so far. See if Kami can solve it. He's in. Oh, you could have... Mm, I totally understand if you don't want to activate you know, the first round. Yeah, right. You could have killed a level three, but didn't think it was worth it quite uh -oh. yet. Hold on, though. Maybe. Samiz has a lot of work to do here. Oh, that's huge. Yes, sir. All you got to do is finish the rest of it. Kami on the board with so much potential damage incoming off of a single hit. Will it be via one of the low mediums, perhaps? But it's going to be fireballs that Samiz is thinking about up until this point was not able to counter poke the driver. She saw the counter hit there from, from, from Kami, not willing to spend the level three, by the way. Yeah, it's true, yet again. He turned just a little bit late on that. He gets to move in. He, was, he had seen an EXTP there before in a very similar situation. This time it doesn't come. Out of the corner, okay. Time for offense? Yes. Oh! Mm, this level is gonna be pretty significant, but right? not gonna kill just yet. So he has an opportunity to maybe get a fuzzy setup. I don't think it's I mean, if it's enough. a grab, he's already gonna kill. Oh. oh the burn! There it is! There it is. That was actually so so hotly contested. I'm actually kinda curious, man, if it would have been a whole different story had Kami let that level three rip earlier. We're going into the Coliseo now. Samid starting things off. The perfect carry is here. Forward. Yes, that is the Bond Chan punch. Forward fierce, crouching heavy punch into the knuckle for the OP. Counter hit as well. Samid is going to be in big trouble. He's already in the corner. You are stuck. So much more of an offensive style here from Kami. Look at it. It's just a complete 180 almost. Think about how often he was walking back and forth previously. How almost very neutral heavy he was. This time, that man's in there. This is more of what he was playing like in the one. No, just like that. Right back in. So doing a really good job of mixing it up between neutral and pressure. I wonder if that could have been an uppercut. I think, you know, if there was a parry on there, it could have been, but I, I'd imagine Kami wanted to really get that perfect parry to cause that burn up with Sabine. Oh, that is huge! Do it again! Dash up, level two. 
What? Oh, you can see him try to dash. We saw the like little funky forward movement from him. Just an error, unfortunately. I wonder if level one actually could have been enough to kill. Oh, man. Samij is still very much in this. The defense is there. Is it the get? No, no throws from Kami. What defense? Oh man, no that was way. so good. Turned oh, an excellent defense God. into sudden pressure yet again. Kami, not wavering one bit. That could have been multiple, multiple frame traps that could have, he could have run into. Willing to take the throw, none of it came. None of it came out from Samir. There it is, DP. Oof. Just like that, it's a huge opportunity for Kami. Will he spend it this time? You have to, you have to get that drive gauge back. Uh, uh, uh. One more sequence is going to be pretty significant. Kami already has that corner pressure. Just a slight walk up. Contra medium punch can already spell danger for the speech or the fierce. It's a nice little cage. Ooh. That's. That. Ooh, oh my boy. god. What I want to say about that interaction. No, I'm going to say that sucks. That actually sucks. You see the hammer fist completely obliterate the anti air attempt from Jerry directly above her because she can't really uppercut from that angle. That's the worst part about it. Yeah, really, really nice jump by Kami. So, okay, so for Kami in that last game, it was much more about playing pressure. Some neutral moments, of course. Some great defense when he needed oh. it. Ah, oh, and Samij has a better read this time. That's a burnout. Okay, here we go. Samij got his stick. So match point now for Samij. And that was more about his offense yet again, so really back and forth adaptations by these guys. Perry denied the entrance by Samid. Jesus, look at the meter you build off of that. Can you get the save Ooh. jump as well? Baiting out the throw. Are we going to go for the damage? Yes, we are. Thank you a little bit. OD uppercut Samid taking the big risk. I actually probably could have killed. Yeah. Oh boy. Constant He's medium speaking up. He's going to hope to build three on this. He does! But it doesn't okay, matter. Does he not yeah, even need it? Okay, no okay, okay. way! Woo! Nice work. That means that they are both at match point. Man, what a match this is so far. I, I legit thought like maybe he would have by like a little bit. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, excellent work by Kami. Oh, what? It was because he was too recovered well. Huge damn. Uh, uh. Interesting conversion. Okay, I've only seen uh, you know what's funny? I've only seen Punk do that. Really. All right, that's the Perry, this is maybe the beginning of his back throw. He's about to get a burnout. Do it again. He might. Tommy's playing great D yet again. But he's got level three. He's still very dangerous. Oh. Samij, if he finds the right hit right now, he can seal it already. This is huge. The defense of Kami, key. This whole time it's been key. Look at the man just hanging he's on. He's not pressing a single button. This guy, Kami, is on a different level of defense. <gasps> His drive gauge is back. And it's that was coast to coast. Kami survives. What defense? That man held block from coast to coast and still found the end. Situation. Marissa is his choice, and for Camp for Punk, it will be Cami. Punk. What a color sequence! Or, yeah, oh, that's, dude, that is, is that, gorgeous. Is that? That's that, the new outfit, right? Or is that the old outfit? Is that like old a outfit? dark green, or is that a black, or is that a dark blue? I'm not gonna get into that conversation. Oh, no. but I'm not trying what to do that. Oh, I no. promise you, I'm not trying. Oh, it looks no. really great. It well, looks I'm, really great. It looks really beautiful cool. white dress. Shut up, David. Max, this is punk. Oh, you have to a great side. Did get the punish counter on the Superman punch. Yeah, I mean, it's a great spot for Max Sama. Already in a situation where, you know, two hits is for the kill. Punk knows that. Okay. Oh, that was right on the money, too. At the shins, for the full conversion of the counter hit. This is where it gets kind of dicey, right? Marisa can't really do a lot against some of these throws, especially in the current state. Number one. Gladius Punk trying to maybe absorb a hit on the way out, but Punk, really, he assessed the risk a long time ago. He was like three-fourths of the screen away. So what a back movement by Punk. What a whiff punish by Punk. That was a really good start. Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't think she was going to have enough damage to cut it because Marisa, she does have a little bit of extra vitality. That sequence off of that whiff punish was a lot. Yeah, that's it. I really like how Max Sama got Punk into the corner in the first place. Had some good pressure, too. Keep things Ooh. tight here. That was cool. Yeah. We're gonna build a on the medium. Oh, oh, that's huge. Look at the damage without any bar being spent. Safe jump as well. Keeps the pressure up. 
And you know what's really interesting? Yeah, Punk Ooh. hasn't really been moving just yet. Even when he chooses, that was sick. it was only a matter of time. Come on. I was layering it to see whether or not Max Samuel would draw the unfold, because it was only a matter of time. Punk hasn't really chosen movement as a de defensive decision as often. Seriously, great pressure by Max Oh, oh no. no! Even bigger damage. Oh, Are you going to spend so it? You have life. it, right? He's going to... Yeah, yeah. You, you get the corner, you do 60%. You still got half your drive gauge. Do you drive rush forward to bait, or do you actually stick it out with the medium? No, drive rush forward, right? Let me see it. The medium choice. What a oh, jump! This Patience, is then jump. And complete reversal now of positioning as Punk, if he wants, can pressure. Oh, so much smarter this time! He actually just walked out up until that point where it was a really awkward exchange. Punk manages to find himself near the corner again. Okay, a chance maybe for Punk, who feels to me a little more timid than I usually see. He's maybe waiting for Max Sama to make a bad choice, but that just really hasn't happened. So there hasn't even been like an unsafe medium medium for example. Max Sama's Ooh. playing really well. I definitely flinched. Coming in for that drive run variety is looking a little bit like Itabashi. Oh, the OD? No way! Wow. That's not enough. And he is burned. Punk backs off to avoid his own burnout. No, he tried to play footsie with the low medium kick. Nothing? No punish. I'm sorry, no finisher. Right. Oh. No bait. Great defense by Again. Max Sama. Again. Oh, is that enough? Is that going to cut it? Oh, man. That extra That's vitality. Raw. Yeah, it's raw. And it's You're dead. CA. It's so much damage. It is enough. The extra life of Marissa was not enough to save Max Sama. So, Punk, game one. Let's take a good look here, man. Ooh. Max Sama has been so, so good with his offense thus far. Yeah. He's really bold in Punk in place. It hasn't really uh, dawned on him that these side switches are the only times when he's really taking damage. And it's not even like by a lot of like errors. Like, he hasn't made big errors at all, I no. think, in my opinion. Oh, no, he's had great defense, far. great neutral. Yeah, honestly, it's been a great game. Jesus. Great stuff overall. And I really good awareness in these corner game. juggles. Yeah, honestly. Man. I have really liked it. Damn! Burnout, anything's gonna Damn. Like, Yeah, jeez, what a round Max. back song. Another phenomenal start. Not at all taking a bait right here. Man, the Phalanx mid-air gets clipped. Great conversion as well, and I love the use of armor again! Perfect like parry. Mostly gonna attack the drive gauge and get that positioning. Man, that was mid-air as well! That's so difficult. I think he might have mixed himself up. Max yeah. didn't know what side he was gonna be on. Mm. Okay. Well, I don't know if it was strictly necessary, but there you go. It's getting a little weird out there. A little bit, a little bit. You can see a little bit of the frustrations that Punks is like, I, I don't even know who you are. Like, why are you making me play to this degree? You have been so sturdy, and it actually makes me upset. That <laughs> is a good way to put it, yeah, for Max Sama. But nevertheless, it is Max Point, like Punk, despite getting a little funky at the end of that last round. Sometimes you gotta boost your confidence by any means necessary, even if it's at the expense of your opponent on a grand stage like this one. Ah, oh, you saw him moving as the option there. Max does get clipped. He's gonna raise. We'll follow up. Smart. Here's Punk. Gonna try to dump it all. Yes. Oh, yes. And that's so this is good. Right? A lot of damage. It means he's probably a mix up away from getting the kill. However, on the other side, if he gets tossed in the corner here, almost good night. So he doesn't even try to pressure. Yeah, he's, he's big chilling. Look at the amount of drive. Okay. Oh, 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 no! One hit. One hit away from death. No! Maybe it was a bait. Perhaps. Could be. It could have been an intentional drop. Could be. To get that meaty. Punk is not easily going to give up this positioning right this here. This is death for Punk, by the way. If he, oh, my God! Oh yeah. No, totally. If, if Max Sama gets the next hit... He's hoping to convince Punk to move away and to jump to do something ill-advised. Nothing like that came. So Max Sama backs off. Plenty of time on the clock to get a hit. Oh my god! Big jumps! <gasps> that is gonna you do are... it, and in the end, Punk is the one who takes it. I feel like Max Sama played great, but honestly, Punk was the one who did what he needed to do when he needed to do it. A bunch of times over. One thing is consistent that everybody agrees on, agrees on Zangief's struggling. Sure, Zangief sure. kind of struggles. But it's kind of weird to say that too, because you have a competitor in Capcom Cup with the same character. So yeah. I'm actually kind of curious to see what it is about this character and also what it is about Mondo 
and has him here on the top 16. But if I don't this far, this is quite a this is kind of a tall order though. You're facing off against a Capcom Cup champion. Right. Ooh, that was a setup for a grab if I ever seen it. You're right, I don't was not going to see that happen. In two, try to confirm, no big deal. I don't was playing a very solid ground game at the moment. A little sidebar here, David. I still can't believe you're not playing this game. Still blows my Which mind. one? Same game, that's your boy. I don't feel like he's for me, but thank you. I mean, historically, he was my boy. I don't know if this is my guy. At this I, point. Know, I know. You should stop the hunt. Anyways, as you resume. <laughs> uh, you know, Mondo, his quote was I'm nervous, I don't participate in these events much. So I, I hope for his sake that we'll see somebody who has tightened it up. But right now, it is I don't who really has control. That's so tricky to try to contest against that. Even afterwards, if I don't get the hit to the cancel, I'll put it into the command. It's gonna be incoming, more than enough damage. Absolutely, I don't see it perfect. Yeah, I um, just again, very, very strong. He reacted well. I think you're right about the four medium kick. Probably intended that as a grab setup by Mando. I don't step down, and you shut it down pretty much all over the place. So for Mando, what is the change? Ooh. It's a very interesting interaction too. I think, you know, we talked about this earlier uh, in anticipation for Idom. Mono doesn't necessarily have like, the strongest pitches in the, in the team show right now. Like, I think overall it's been very hard for her to kind of like close the gap. She has like some really like far reaching single strikes, yeah. sure, but that can also get blown up pretty significantly. Among the most DIable buttons. Right. But one thing is for certain, her jump arc is so annoying. In a great way. <laughs> Jump Roundhouse really reduces her arc to get a close the gap in, but it, it hasn't really been the case for Idom. He hasn't really had to rely on anything like that thus far. It's been pure footsies. Yeah, he jumped twice and he got anti air, but he doesn't even need that, I think. He's back to mid screen. Playing it safely, playing it cautiously, maybe moving a little bit too far. You think so? I would say he's got a pixel of health advantage tomorrow. Okay, there it is. Was that? I, I actually blinked at the moment of those lights, those lights being chained together. It had to have been Mondo maybe like moving forward. I didn't see a counter hit, right? Yeah. But it was also a crouch animation. That's what like, bugged me out the most. Ooh, defense by Adam. Here it is. Okay, it's up for Mondo. The sweep is there. It's also very, very deceptive. That thing is mad fast. It's looking a little bit more comfortable to me, is Mando. You think so? Yeah, I mean, he's at least moving around a little bit more. It's not exclusively about item having control, but that maybe is. Yeah. Maybe it yeah. is. I don't know if it's enough damage against the big fella. Okay, big fella. Hey. Oh, the fuzzy setup. Moves forward. Idom's quote was, I built I understand, yeah. But now you're going into a character that's like a dime a dozen as well. <laughs> okay, right? yeah. Going into JP, as strong as he is, there's at least a lot more data that we could figure out sure, in terms sure, yeah. of identifying sequences and how to defend or play offense against it, right? Ooh. Back to the range of Flux Wave wants. Okay. Things have been coming up flux wave, I feel like, when it comes to some of these shadows hitting, right? It happened earlier against, uh, maybe Adrian and Mark went into a couple of those shadows. It can be a volatile what? matchup for JP. Characters in general who have excellent movement. A little bit Run! Wow. This okay, guy that is was sneaky. That was cool. That was cool. The movement doesn't matter if you get the corner, I guess. But that, that is part of the potential downfall. Keeping her, her, uh, his eye on her forward movement, her corner pressure. But who expects after an overhead, overhead no, landing? I'm, who expects that drive? No. This is the sequence of Alex Watts. We talked about the corner pressure. Dash up play again. You can do it one more time if you want to. But he's going to play it safe. Trusting intuition on that one. Quite an answer. Really mean it the what the? Archer on top. Oh. Oh, that is huge. huge. Enough level two as well. Attack on the drive. You could probably set it up for it, but I. Yeah, there it is. Do it again. Watch out for this throw. Ooh, that could have been a big punish counter for a possible burnout with Fuck's Weaves. Give it a check. Oh! 
No! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, key backwards jump and solving the forward pressure. Flux waves, man, that was uh, getting a little risky there. I was about to say, Kakadu, is that you? And uh, I'm glad it didn't turn out the way it did. You actually had just one, one more dab away before taking it down. Right back into it, Flux Waves does have the first game. Drive rush forward, cuts medium, Flux Waves with the counter hit opener to check Alex. I'd imagine Alex tried to preemptively stop that. He sees Green, he's trying to press the button, and he gets that. And now in this state of departure, plus the ghosts, it's hard to maneuver. I love that jump timing. Though. I love this one. Ooh, uh, plenty of time to react to it. A very expensive way to do it, though, with Flux Waves. Sets up the departure, double time, dash up twice. Ooh, that is sick. Is that enough? Not no, enough. No, no. But it sets up nicely for the spike either way. I don't know if that would have... Oh, that was chip kill. Damn! Dang, that was a that was lot! A lot, yeah. I'm with you. So match point now for Flux Waves. Smith is the first one to start it out. Overhead's blocked. Still gets to pursue afterwards. Like, Ooh, what response to fire by Flux Waves? What? Oh, that was sick! Oh, oh, that's that a punish. Is a little overzealous going in for a second what a time. Reset. Oh man, the he's getting top pretty wild here. I love this. That's fair though. I mean, Flux Waves, he hasn't really shown up that card. None of the JPs have, to be honest. Oof. But when Alex has had big corner pressure, he's oh, good. He got a perfect with that after all. Those two will come out. Too far? Mm. Level two is going to be a, a lot for us to uh, deal with. Definitely a tough spot. Back to mid range. <laughs> it was a, not really the right timing. This allows Alex Smith to get back in. That's tricky. I love the invasive maneuvers, but not close enough. No way does he whiff that. Flux waves after that counter poke, too. I think it was a punish counter. It was just too far for the rest of the combo to hit. That's mad up for him. Great for Alex Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. A little bit earlier on the drive rush, cutting medium punch. Flex waves on his defensive decisions. Oh, jump out of there! Back though. It is a pretty natural reaction to hold up back, but man, it's tough. Oh no! You know what that was. Still with the pickup? Just getting chip while he can. And getting a lot of chip. It's a bit about a quarter life, maybe a third life in chip. Oh, and he gets a full on punish as well. Level two, you're gonna be doing a lot of this damage. Possibly a side, no, we just gonna go purely for the Ooh! mix! <laughs> it's the mix at the end! Flux waves throwing in the overhead in a way that Alex Smith couldn't. I didn't realize that this version of Luke still has like the braces. Imagine Luke being an braces? MMA fighter with braces. That's, that's terrifying. Anyways, there's the mix already coming through. Psycho being, play, being able to play a lot more offense right out the gate. Yeah, I mean, if you can get pressure, get knockdowns. She has the kind of offense that it, I feel like, you know, even if you're great defensively, it is hard to block her consistently. She's got a lot of stuff going on. That's a great situation. I like the defensive choice of just using the OD bust out, OD uppercut, just hinder Psycho right then and there. Especially after that very tricky sight mix up of the delayed Tatsu. There. Yeah, it can be plus. It's a pretty cool setup. I'm not even trying to guess that. I think the most it could be is maybe like plus two. You know that's a very violent name for that move, the torso splitter? Is that right? Yeah, cool. She, yeah, she's aiming for your chin so that it splits your torso in your face. Oh my god, that that right there should be the torso splitter. I know. Right there, if you're asking me. But no, it's the Ace. This is good. Also good. Coast to coast. Okay. Psycho builds his way out of it. Jesus, a little he, bit of a star Again, though, that was Kami just holding on, not pressing a button. Taking a lot of turns here, Psycho. A little bit low on the Forcing a lot of plus frames. Yeah, Kami down there. If Kami gets a single opening into a drive rush combo, it could potentially spell death at least with the level two and the sharp angle. And Woo! there's the mix. You can't block forever. Psycho making a huge statement off of that anti-air. That is everything because you get that cancel, you get that run cancel off of that. Pretty significant to set up your left right mix. Super good idea by Psycho. Okay. Again, even if you have great defense, it's just hard to block against their consistency. So Kami's in. I would imagine he spends here. Yes. You kind of have to. You want to get that drive yeah, going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a lot of damage start. Again. Do you walk up and check? Here's slight stutter step forward. 
They're both like just outside of each other's ranges. Excellent spacing by both players. They can both turn it on right oh, away. Does he keep it up? Yes. Hey, you better kill. You better no, kill. Uh-oh. I don't think that's too bad for Kami. Look at this space behind him, right? He gets to hold block as much as he wants to. If he can keep up, that is. There's gonna be a lot of tricky mix-ups coming in from Psycho. That's again. With punish! No. Right back Breaking in the game. The jump. Oh, man. Oh, there it is. That's so, it's so tricky still. <gasps> no no there, but there that's it fine. is. The uppercut. Had Psycho done maybe, I, I swear to God, if he had thrown down the elbow, to bait out, man, that would have been an entirely different story. But Kami still having the audacity to come in with an uppercut. Uh, hit, yeah, full conversion. That's a lot of extra plus. Jump on the other side. And I like that Kami was just trying to pursue like a side pitch again, immediately jumping to the sky for Psycho. The throw mix now. No bait from Kami. Ooh. Interesting. Even after the spray can setup. Spray can, excuse me. The teleport setup. Psycho wasn't able to dish out as much damage as he wanted to. Yeah, he's doing a great job of it right now. Tommy, the way he finds his way out, very interesting that he just drive rush in. No! Wow, Tommy's right! Psycho went for the mix. And in a spot where I think he could have done enough damage to let a level 3 rip. I don't know, man. Look at how much damage, or look at how much life Kami has left. I guess if you think about it, if that had hit, you know, you link it into Crouchy Jab Super, basically. Like, but you get the kill. Do oh. like, you think he could have killed without it? I don't think he could have killed without it. I really think so, huh? I feel like maybe he killed. That's hard. It's really hard to call out. But man, yeah. what a risk to take. Hunter not paying off the Kami, trying to press the button afterwards, a delayed tech, a little bit of the defensive decisions being shown from Kami now. Not just willing to take these blocks. Lucian regular! Lucian sends Luka. Oh, cute. Interesting is that, like, some of the big hits that Kami, sorry, that Psycho has, doesn't lead to any sort of mix up yet. He hasn't spent that bar, really, to, to make it help. Oh, that's. Whew. Very sneaky. Level two. Uh, you know, I think that's fine. The damage is there. Now you're close enough for a movie. You'll have all your drive gauge back. Yeah, it's strike throw for the kill. I'm sorry. Oh. No, actually, it's not. No anti-air, but again, his excellent defense comes into play. Hey, and he's the one who gets the mix at this match point. <laughs> the mix was normal. Block back there, yeah. it's, it's difficult, man. I mean, Luke's still within that range to get some of these throws going, but mid-range, I don't think you have to fear it as much. It is guess for game, though, to be fair. Yeah. Go. The back dash does get clipped, but it's actually not going to lead to a lot of damage. I feel like that's been the, the highlight of, of Psycho's performance thus far, at least against Kami. Some of these big hits have not really been as intimidating to force any big errors from Kami. What are you gonna do about this? Oh, what an interruption! That Great was sick. check! Oh. A little too early, but that's okay for him. Uh oh. Defensive throw is what yes. it was. Ah, he was right! He was right. Okay. And with three bars, Cyclo's coming into this in an okay position. Oh, that's oh. tricky. Unusual stuff. To the damage output. Kami's style so interesting. It's so unique. He's it hasn't really been super heavy on pressure. It's been about his defense. However, we got to see if it holds up here. A little bit of a funky occurrence. He actually dashed up into the jump roundhouse from Psycho on the way in. He's gonna be pretty significant. Does have that buff going. Jesus, to play raw? No, that was actually off of a cancel. What was that? <laughs> I've never seen him drop like that. Have you? Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Come on. He's Get hunting together. for it yet again. I'm trying to press the button to counter it. It's all the attempt at a check. Psycho does have enough life. But again, another counter hit opportunity. Yeah. Not making the most of these drive rushes. And that's fine. Yeah, just dropping on top of the noggin. Kimberly, Crouching. Sorry. <laughs> Elbow drop in the air. Kami not really able to, like, react appropriately. Crouching Heavy Punch does kind of stuff that out. But you have to really see it. Though. I think it's a different timing. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. You have to be mad early. Gotta stay harder. Back to back. Three in a row. Try to go for a fourth. That was moving as an option from Kami. And defense again. Wow. Trying to get out of the situation. This is exactly what a Kimberly wants. Well. 
Okay, caught it. Oh, oh, he's trying to end it. As he should, man. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that's both players? He over, he over slightly, slightly, but wow, again, caught it. And so now it's match point. Psycho. Big switch. Ooh. I feel like they could have led to a lot more. Kami still just trying to react to the spray can. Excuse me, the teleport. The second time I said that. The teleport could be a little bit of a problem, I feel like. For Kami. Side switch. No, he doesn't need it. He's going for the advantage. That trade is everything, I feel like, for Psycho to get himself going. Also, to close the gap. There we go. Oh, that's. Oh, too point is far. Far. Too Kami far. takes advantage. Yeah, he kill. killed. Yeah. So it will be now match point for both. More resources on the left, but man, still. It's gonna take a lot for. I, I feel like with the way that Psycho's been playing offense, it's gonna take a lot to really get a conversion into the level three, right? We have seen a couple of drops. We've seen a lot of reset attempts from Psycho. So if we could land at least one solid combo into level three, that'll spell a huge difference again. Going for a final fight chain that doesn't lead into a level three cancel. Right. I mean. Although he's found tons of hits, very few of them have been taken damage. Awesome. I thought it was going to be on the other side. Uh, we've yeah. seen that option to carry again from Tommy. Oh, D uppercut, preventing the mix from even happening. Okay, in. Or like that burnout. It's mm -hmm. a good decision. You do after that in pursuit. How do you approach Kami? Kami just feels very calm. That was tricky. What a block! Nice. Set it up. That Back decision. Off. I could, I could understand. Oh boy. Dash up. Oh boy. Did you really? He oh. delayed the crouch jab. No way, Kami. Getting away with it all! Level one more than enough! Psycho letting it slip from his hands! No way! No way he held on to that meter. I totally understand like why he would do it from, from the very beginning. Fighter six, right? We totally understand the different pressures that uh, people are put into in these, circ in these circumstances. So it's a lot on the line for, for both players. Like Space Boy with a loop, very impressive. All the aggressive start getting the throw against Punk. And it's totally understandable. In that sequence, if you cancel a low medium kick and you drive rush forward, in order for it to be a true block string, you have to go in with the light. Punk will definitely go through that with an uppercut once he gets that opportunity. So good on Space Boy to make that, to make that happen for him. Okay. Punk with a bit of an offbeat dive kick. What a stop! Like, how often do we see that from Punk? That standing jab. And that's going to be open enough. He gets to cancel one more time if he needs to. But no, he goes for the target uh -oh. combo. I don't know about that. Kick. Okay, that's it. Uh, yeah, that said, <laughs> back to the last match that we saw, Punk versus Max Sama. We were both impressed by Max Sama. And Punk did have some drops, some funky decisions in there. Obviously for his sake, he tightens it up. The Space Boy, yeah. what a great decision. That was disgusting. That was so high up, good. and I like that decision to throw as well. Knocking on the door a little bit, you saw the delayed stagger on the jab, and now staggering it with other normals as well. That Hachi Media puts everything, but that punish kind of even bigger. You spend it, absolutely you do. But look at this, it's not going to lead to depth just yet. The drive gauge, I feel like it's not going to be a huge factor as much, but it's this very moment where you get to stutter step forward. No drive rush, and it's the shimmy! It was a scary movie. You blink and you miss it and you die. It's crazy. Space Boy driving up with a drive-by flash <laughs> Good whiff punished by Punk, keeping his eyes open as always. Always the reactions are there. Oh, nice. Just be content with the grab. I think either way is fine. Either sure. corner switch or at least we set back to the screen. Uppercut, full control. Now for Space Boy, back throw. Now we can drive us forward again. Overhead is there! Punk, mm. not ready for it. Oh man, Space Boy is right up close. Again, Punk with the kind of funky timing on the dive kick though. We talked about off beat and it's been on the That's a perfect parry. Do you think he can kill? He can kill. Yeah. Level two's there. Dash up, level two. I I think that might be enough yeah, I mean, damage. obviously heavily scaled, but is that enough? Last hit, yes! Sheesh. 
You know, that's, that's really tough, too. He Imagine if Punk had survived that, he had a little bit of drive gauge left in him, and a fireball wouldn't ship out of that range. Or at least it wouldn't put him into crit out of that range. On top of having a crit apart, it would have been nice. What is happening? This guy's flying all over yeah, the place already? Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, we saw the same interaction previously where it was a whiff grab is like the attempt. A little funky timing. Space Boy looking confident in neutral. Yes, walks into exactly that the right spot. Okay, the cast medium punch. Now it's gonna be pumped turn. Oh, oh yeah. the uppercut! Big punish! I didn't realize the names haven't been switched yet. Space Boy and it is a deep punk, by the way. Oh got it! No. Oh it yes, all it works did. out. It all works out for Punk. Should be able to take the round. Again, we have seen a little bit of funkiness from him, but this time mm -hmm. it looks okay. Nice finish, nice switch over. I see you. But a couple of sneaky movements. Behind that giant impact, make it a little bit harder to tell when it's coming out. Yeah, she just kind of spins in like a bunch of her moves. You know? I hate it. <laughs> I really, I can't, I can't keep track of it all. So we finally get that light conversion for go immediately afterwards with drive rush. Oh, again! Oh man, I love that solution. And Space Boy backing off, right back in. His, he's playing with his spacing so well. Excellent tech, actually, because that. Forward and back Ooh. movement is funky. Go to punish counter. Good patience from Punk. He was waiting so long to get out of that corner, and it paid off tenfold, especially getting the punish counter. But this is even bigger. Space Boy, Beast Boy, baby again. Mm, no okay, way. he could have killed. He's on the three for sure. Oh, what? <laughs> So that's one thing to check Punk's reaction. Getting away with a dash, that's one. Then backing up immediately for the back dash to get the punish counter on the throw, that is another thing. Yes, he could have done that the last time. Punk had gone for the neutral jump as a contention point of charge, as a counter against that tactic. It felt to me like Space Boy was hunting for Punk right there as if he thought that he could get the kill very closely, as if he thinks that Punk is worried. Yeah, I think that's that's the reason I'm getting right now about Space Boy's play. He feels like this is the time to get the kill. Yeah, he's going in! Huh. A lot on the line for Punk right here. No way! A little overzealous on the mark too, Punk. He's able to get a really, really significant punish counter. This is going to be a lot of damage. Obviously, the burnout is there, but Punk, with this much drive gauge left in the tank, while your opponent's at zero, you definitely can get a drive impact wall spot. Yep, and he's already moving. He's moving. Yep, that's the one. Woo! All right, buddy. Woo! Jeez. He was looking at the endpoints to, to, to finish the position. He, like, went to the start screen to see where the big the inputs are. Uh, man, look, again, there's a lot on the line for Punk, and I understand why Space Boy felt like that was the round to get the kill, but now that that didn't happen, the question is, what does he change about his gameplay? Oh. Oh, interesting tidbit there. Punching jab, counter hit into the perfect back. Oh, that's huge. Oh! What an even bigger drop from Punk. What is happening? It's not the first time that we've seen a big drop of him in top 16. I don't know, the fourth or fifth time, to be honest. Oh. This counter is there and also within range is the fierce. I thought it was gonna whip from that range, but no sir, no level one usage. He oh, boy. Maybe thought it wasn't gonna kill. Maybe. Did you sneak in the guy's attempt two? Attempt two and it's not far enough! There it is! No way! He did it again! Uh-uh. Fireball and uppercut to ensure the damage on that bad boy. Space Boy looking at match point! With a lot of actually both characters sitting at pretty much equal in super gauge. Punk saw that there were some more whiffs coming out. Space Boy shut it down immediately. Does not want to allow Punk to get these reads about what to do in neutral. And now trying to get throw baits again against Punk. Yeah, he himself back into the corner. Forces this. Three in a row? Again there. Again! Fully burn! What a what jump! Though by Punk! Will he spend it all? Yes! yes. He absolutely has to. Equalize the playing field, the damage is there, the burnout is there as well. He's gonna get his drive game before Space Boy does, yeah. but it's just a matter of what he decides to do on top of his dash up, and he's pretty aggressive with it! No way! Heavy to level three, now he gets to change the swing! The damage is definitely in Space Boy's favor. You're gonna get a meaty setup, and you might get that drive game before Punk. With zero bars, you could get a checkmate! No way! Does Space Boy eliminate Punk? Punk's still in! Oh, oh jumps God. away! All the decisions are so key right now! Anything will do it.
He finds it! Can he get the kill? It's a little funky looking, but that's okay. And it is match point now for both. I swear to you, if he did Eraser, the back heavy punch from Luke, as the low four was coming out, I would have yelled like a madman. It would have been all goofy. One of them on the top A loser side. Punk's the one who starts the offense this time. That has been rare throughout the set. He hasn't typically been the person who's done it. As he is back again to hanging out a little bit patiently, maybe hoping to see Space Boy overextend, but Space Boy is just walking around. He's not giving in to that urge. He's given a couple of looks with a sandblast, and surprisingly, we haven't seen really any spin knuckle attempts, but it's been very difficult to call. This is a very fast fireball, by the way. Mm -hmm. So even trying to use that as a tactic is kind of tough. Punk just turned immediately. Here's Space Boy. He has fought all the way to the corner. Not Again. quiet! As Punk is the one who finds the big hit, and now with a substantial life lead. But that burnout is getting pretty close. Punk is backing away. No uppercut! I can't believe it. He has been so consistent with Antares. That's meaty as heck, but... Not gonna to any sort of big jump! It's not Again. for a hit. Another chance. And again, Punk, as he has often been, is not the one to immediately engage on offense. He's back to neutral. Okay, see a whip punish. Oh, that's huge. Okay. It's the back though as well. Punk gets a lot of estate behind him to move away from Space Boy. Space Boy's got to be explosive, but he's got to be now. But OD, Punk knew it, actually. Oh, my God! Punk has got a conversion off of that? 15 on the clock, oh, and it's way. enough as Punk finds it with Jump Roundhouse. No delay in the sky. There was not a dive. There's one attribute that Idom has to really attest to his gameplay. What attribute would that be? Uh, I think his reads just not fine. In my opinion. Like, it's just that. extremely difficult to know where he's going next. And that's true not just in like the obvious does he do command grab or hit. Like that kind of easy stuff. But it's also what he does in neutral. It's so hard to get a read on the buttons he's going to pick. I feel like that's part of why he makes Mano work when it comes to her footsies. Which are DI-able and like not the super best in the game. But he makes them work because you just don't know when any of them is coming. I think it's a really fair assessment, but man, what a usage of the lightning legs. I think I was just very fortunate for Lama just at the right place at the right time to anticipate something from item, whether it be a, a regular grab or command grab at that. Lama just had the right instincts to do its air lightning legs. Thank you, Mario. Oh, that's huge. That's a big opening. And that's something that Idom is not reluctant to, to, to use. Something that's really, really unsafe, but it's a great poking tool for Mario. You have to take risks with her. That is the name of the game. Maybe able to get a medal. Okay. Speaking of risks. Yeah. We'll take that from Ramos. Ooh, what? Okay. Idom, of course, capitalizes on that. Three medals. I can't pretend to tell you. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that was. Oh, the idea, yeah. yeah. Big that jump. Is a huge and game. probably for the round if he wants it. Yep. Number one, more than enough. That, we talked about that jump arc could be uh, a pretty big nuisance. She does pretty well, I feel like, in that regard against fireball characters, being able to react and jump appropriately to get the better counters. That jump arc is very, very menacing. It's sharp. Her roundhouse makes it even faster. That was cool. Never seen that stutter before. Hey. Makes it count with level three on deck. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see what he can get. Item. Waking up in the corner. The sweep again. Willing to take the risk. Over here. Buried it. Damn. And an appropriate punish counter. This guy, Ramos, is sick. That was really good, the parry. Yeah. That's a guess. That is a pure guess. Oh. I'm surprised to see the command grab there after what would have been a successful command grab if he had read that parry coming. We'll see. He almost backs off a little what bit. What a whiff punish and what a heavy normal to do it with. Jesus. Just has such unusually strong footsies with the character. Like, you feel like she's a wall moving forward against you when it's I don't playing in a way that few other players can make work with her. Gets Idon off of Ramos in the corner. It's gonna be pretty huge with that side switch as well. So much estate for Chummy to work with. He's gonna charge, got the full, put some fireballs going. He's gonna be very deceptive as to what her range of attacks is gonna be. That medium punch has gotten him so much in the past. And also, low four can be a really, really big game changer against Idon, especially at this stage of the game at least. 
Yeah, Almost backs off. No, tries to go in. Oh, Immediately wait. read by Idol. And how often do you even see that from Ramos' like, uh, repertoire? We haven't really seen dry reversals, let alone in this stage of the game. We don't really get to see it that much, but I don't have the appropriate lead. The full really nice confirm, in fact. Ooh, Ooh huge jump! Yeah. That's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. Nobody's singing right now, but that's going to cut it anyways. We're going to go into the final game between the two. Bottom meter down below just shows you that Idom did not give any chances for Ramos. And I will say this I think uh, a couple of fortunate circumstances were uh, a part of Idom's round, right? Like, he had to jump against the fireball. I don't think it was on reaction. There's the drive reversal. Let's find the mark and a very hefty price, I will say. Oh, huh, dude, how okay. does he know? What a beast. Looking good. Oh, man. That was right on the edge. Oh, very tricky. Another level three. Another counter hit stand jab from Ramos. Really picking and choosing his spots to press the button, but instead misses his opportunity for a meaty. Wasn't this the last time we've seen him kind of like fall short was uh, against Knuckle Dude where he wasn't really able to get some of these meaties going? Yeah, his media pressure wasn't very strong and he allowed for Dude to wake up with buttons quite a number of times. Again, the neutral's looking good. He's got a chance for pressure. Tried it out. Oh, here it is. Of course, the situation more. Nailed it. Backing off. Trying to be outside of that roundhouse range. Oh. Okay. Again, I don't feel like he needs to do it sometimes. I totally understand. Oh, plenty of time for him to react. With a normal behind it. Yes, sir. Ramos. Oh, man. And Idom, both fully loaded, by the way. Level three on both ends, and also match point for both players. Now, big whiff punish. Ramos thought he could get the handshake. No, sir. Instead, he gets a trip to the corner. Barry no it into the corner dude. right away, Ramos. Again, the meaty pressure is light, and again, he lets. Again, he challenges correctly He's defensively. So sick. There have been so many right choices defensively and in neutral. It's just the meaty pressure that hasn't really lived up to the rest. Slightly oh, no, no more of a lead now for Ramos, who if he gets the next couple mix-ups right is going to eliminate Adam. Adam's challenging. The driving wrestle again. Fireball to back to it. To back it up. Excuse me. Fireball does find a mark again. Adam. He's only a sequence away from falling Jump! Oh, oh, Idom on the ropes! Oh. Is he right? Yes! Level two. No command grab. Oh, he gave it away! He no! it! Idom is eliminated by Ramos! Two big mishaps back to back! And it's Idom who...